Dylan. Yes. What would you do if you woke up and you saw this? Coom. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> uh, uh, hey man, whatever you're into, it's 2017. <laughs> if you want to be into the spooky gay, then that's fine. Uh, speak. Speaking of spooky gay, I wanna, I, I wanna ask your opinion on something. Go for it. So, um, you know uh, the. The Twitter drama with the Dream Daddy gender bin. I thing. do. Yeah. Okay. For the viewers, uh, there's a game called Dream Daddy. You're aware of it. We played it. We played it on the channel. Yeah. Uh, you you date gay dads in in this game, and a oh. so, a member of the Smash community actually by the name of an artist by the name of <laughs> O Nips made a a gender bent Dream Daddy image. Blah. Blah. <laughs> And one of, apparently I didn't know this, but apparently one of the dream daddies is a female to male trans transgendered yeah. person. Uh-huh. And uh the the artist, Onips, made the the female to male transgendered person gender bent into a woman, and everybody got really mad at that. It's transphobic and fat phobic. Yeah, it's and both of those things because it made the fat guy into a curvy woman with voluptuous breasts. Yeah, that's not th that's a thin fat right there. Yeah, that's a thin fat. That's <laughs> not a real one. That's what they call it. Yeah, I know. Shit, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was also aware of that. But anyways, uh, oh shit. The thing, the thing that I like. So the argument for like, oh, you need to respect <laughs> the. Uh, for first, of, first of all, characters fucking fictional. Yeah, but anyways, that is an important thing to keep in mind. But anyways, the 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 argument behind the fucking SJWs on Twitter, they were like, you need to respect the person's wishes, and they were originally Holy a woman, shit. and they do not want to be seen as a woman. So drawing them as a woman is very offensive. And say, uh, say for instance, oh, that it off. it was only the trans one they had a problem with. Say, yeah. I, say, well, I was the fat one too, but well, no, no. So. It, it, Specifically what I'm talking about right now okay, with yeah. respecting their wishes to be seen as a man and not a woman. Uh -huh. Say I'm a man and I identify as a man. Yeah. I wish for people to view me as a man. Mm -hmm. If somebody draws me as a woman, do I have the right to get offended like they were like they were doing for the trans person? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> you are speaking as a white straight male. That is a position of power. A trans <laughs> trans folk do not come from that position of power, so they don't have any say. Yeah. The world is forcing them into this, into this, uh, it, I, I, I don't know, it's, they're <laughs> retarded. Is the that. that was uh, the joke I was yeah. going for. But anyways, that's, uh, th that, that was like huge drama Whoa. on, on Twitter, and I did not get it whatsoever. Uh, yeah, what a surprise, SJWs aren't very smart. <laughs> Who could have guessed? Oh. I'm gonna die again to another Black Knight, and I don't want to, but you it's have no going to happen. Wait. Wait, hold on. Wait right there. Thank Humanity. you. Humanity. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. What okay, well we did it. What what are you doing? I'm gonna kill this guy. But like like what did you just what did you just do? Oh I equipped uh, humanity in my hot bar. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Come back in the stairs. I'm more comfortable over here, my guy. <laughs> or or yeah, just take your time, that's fine. <laughs> do it. He got warned about stairs. Yeah, I shit. Like, yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, holy that, shit! I cannot believe that hit me. And then there's stairs. Did. Wow, how many <laughs> deaths does that make in this playthrough so far? I'm sorry, I uh, fake gamer. I'm I'm really pissed at myself right now. <laughs> I really am. It's okay. It's called Prepare to Die Edition for a reason. <laughs> this game's harder than Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> uh. I promise you, this game's not actually that hard. I'm just being really, really bad right now. I mean. No, no, like no game is hard if you know what to do. I mean, yeah, it's true. Well, but still, pretty much every game is just simply knowing what to do. Even like, even if you play like fucking, uh, I don't know. I want to be the guy. Yeah, uh, that shit's that's, get out of here. That's, people can do that shit with no deaths because because they know how that's to do true. it. That's true. It's pretty hard, <sighs> but they do it. Oh. Get out of here, Raptus. <laughs> huh. Do I even want to fuck with the Black Knight? I don't know. I don't know. You're not really. I don't know why I'm trying to go for all this weird shit. It's been so long. I need to. I need to play it safe, <laughs> lest I look like a fucking goob in front of everyone even more. I got a new shield. Wow. And it might be better. I don't know. Oh fuck with the pig. I'm not fucking with that pig. I got. I got. <laughs> I got to move. There's I a. There's a spooky ghoul right there. He's running. He closes the bridge. Or okay. The, the door. So I can get in while I can. 
Fuck you, idiot. Ooh. That's knowledge right there. Oh, it still hit? What? Is it? Is I, that, that's weird. Did you not want the bridge closed? The well, I mean, I can open it, but well, yeah. I, I killed him before he even touched the lever, so that was weird. Basement Wait. key. I mean, the the answer is just that he, he had already triggered it, and the animation doesn't matter. Yeah, but. that was weird. It's like Attack on Titan, I have the basement key. Ha 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 ha. I don't get it. It, it. It's like episode one, my guy. Is it? Yeah. Aaron gets the key to the basement from his dad. Okay. Do you not remember that? No, I don't. That's like crazy important. Season one, episode one? Yeah. Huh. I, I want the halberd, it's good, but I don't have a, the proficiency for it. Quick, open the door. Get on the floor. I dream of a world with no doors. <laughs> I dream of a world with no stairs. Me too. It should, it should all be ramps, Fuck. you know, to really ah. get everybody included. Is this game ableist? <laughs> the answer's yes. Fire. Why can't I play as a wheelchair guy? <laughs> Explain that one to me, Dark Souls team. With, uh, with, with blades for wheels. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking epic. I'd play that. That'd be really fun. <laughs> oh, what is this? Um, it has a 100% physical block. I'll take it. How long until Overwatch releases a handicapped hero so that way they could be really inclusive? Because Overwatch well, is all about being really inclusive. Lucio doesn't have legs. Symmetra <laughs> has autism. That's confirmed. Tracer's gay. Tracer's gay. We got, we got a dude. Oh my god! All of these things are disabilities. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't know Buddy would sneak up on me. Uh. Bad. Okay. The the new the, the Doomfist character is like from Africa. Uh, yeah, he's black. That's a, a disability because he's oppressed. <laughs> because he's oppressed. Because the white man's keeping him down. Not because he is black. That is not the disability. He is in fact the Kang. I am very racist right now. I apologize. That's very rude of me to say. This game sucks. Why can't they just win immediately? Uh, it's because it's the Dark Souls of the Dark Souls genre. Oh. This is Sparta. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> uh, do you think Doomfist gets pulled over just because he's black? Uh, that was why he was in jail. <laughs> that's, how, that's how it happened. Uh, they saw him driving a nice car and they pulled him so, over and sir, took him to jail. Quit resisting. <laughs> he was doing 55 and 54. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. How many of the eight year olds, eight year olds in the audience get that reference? None, because they don't drive. <laughs> uh. I'll have you know that my dad let me go behind the steering wheel once, so I basically know how to drive. I sat on his knee while he, <laughs> <laughs> well, he had the gas pedal and he said, okay, son, okay. you can steer. I don't want him to close the gate. That would be bad. Brr. Would you fuck off and die? I, I, I promise you, as soon as I get rid of the axe, I'm going to be a much better gamer. <laughs> I fucking hate this weapon so much. I forgot how bad it was. Wah. How much I did not like it. High frames. Wah. Yeah, there's a lot of iframes in this game. There's a <laughs> fuck ton. In two, there's like not as many, which is kind of annoying, but kind of yeah. better in some ways. Is this the best souls? Which uh, one's, which one's yes, the best one? It is like un uncontested as the best one. Okay. I like it a lot. What makes it better? Here's the thing. Dark Souls 2 and 3 are, are very heavily built around warping all over the place, because later in this game we get the ability to warp in between bonfires. Oh, yeah? Um... But in Dark Souls 2 and 3, we get that ability right off the bat. So the entire fucking level design is based around that. Like, you can you can just go warp everywhere. In this game, though, we don't get that until a lot later. So the world is, like, very well crafted to be... Um, it, it all, like, intertwines into itself. And it all feels very, like, realistic. Like, okay. every every location makes sense. Um, there's a famous example in, in, in Dark Souls 2... You take an elevator, like, a gorillion feet up, and then arrive at, like, fucking Bowser's castle for some reason. Okay. It's really bizarre. It, it, it breaks my fucking immersion so hard, and uh, mm. that's why I don't like it. That's why I like this game the best. It has the best atmosphere and, like, world. I'm immersed. I see. And that's what I like about video games. I like immersion. <laughs> that's true. Wow. That's why I like uh, Spyro 1 the best, because it has the best atmosphere. Ooh. Yeah, like, I played all the Spyro games whenever I was so little that I have a really hard time differentiating them. Yeah, I, I remember them all very well, because they're, like, my favorite games. I think, I think I... really I, like Spyro. I think I remember Year of the Dragon the most, because I, th I think that was the one that I played the most. Yeah. 
Well, was it only that one, or did you do it more where you fucking... There was skateboarding levels and shit. That was... The skateboarding was in 3 exclusively. Okay. Um, yeah. I since fucking two, loved added, the skateboarding like, levels. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> in, uh, in 2 and 3, there were, like, a lot more side mission, like, yeah. things like that. Um, but in 1, it's just you have your charge, your glide, and your flame breath. Here's a level. Go beat it. I see. And that's why I like it. It was really simple, but really good. So it did a lot of things with the mechanics. That made it fresh and interesting every level. I want to play that on the channel so badly. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play, I want to play that also. Uh, good. My nostalgia PP is going to be very big. Me too. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Shit. I promise I can do that game well. Okay. That, that's one game that I can actually do pretty quickly. Oh yeah, what, what is uh, As opposed to this apparently? What is a, a recent new platform IP that is good? Uh. I liked ukulele. I okay. thought it was pretty fun. I, I can't. I can't say. Well, the thing is, with I haven't played it, but at least from what I've seen, of ukulele it doesn't even seem like a fucking platformer. It's like an. What fucking, do you mean? It's like a fucking adventure game. I mean, the, it's, it's a 3D platformer, just like Banjo Kazooie or, or Spyro or something like that. I also haven't played Banjo Kazooie. Oh, I've not it, either. But I, yeah. I know about Banjo Kazooie enough to say that it is extremely similar to Banjo Kazooie. I mean, that was the point. It's a, it was supposed yeah. to be a spiritual successor yeah, exactly. of Banjo-Kazooie by the same people. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I thought it was good. A lot of people said it was really shitty, but I thought it was fun, and I liked it, and it was pretty in most parts, and in other parts it was really ugly. G games like that, though, that like just <clears> have like a, like a fucking huge world with a shit ton of collectibles loses my interest real fast. I love it. I really do. I love collectathons. I, I mean, I think that just attributes to how how much Akuzum I really have. But yeah, I, 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 I cannot I cannot stand fucking go, going around and collecting a bunch of shit just for the sake of, sake of collecting it. I like it a lot. <laughs> what what do I need to hold this weapon? I need uh, what stats? Shit! How do I check that? Oh god, I forgot. You're asking the wrong person. I need higher uh, like proficiency. Wait, what's the wait? It said uh, rec param right there. Uh, oh, twelve. Okay, I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah I need twelve <laughs> dexterity. So I have nine. Nine. Wow, I'm stupid. Slow and stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what to do with your hands. I I really don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know why this motherfucker doesn't know how to use a a big stick with a pointy metal object on the end of it. I don't think it should be that complicated, but. Oh. I don't know. Because he he didn't have a, a training montage set to uh <laughs> Wow, it's not even it. nearly enough souls to get it close. <laughs> I don't know. What 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 the fuck's the, the Mulan song called? Uh I'll make a man out of you. Yeah, that one. I mean I don't think that's what the title, but <laughs> Yeah. This is Andre, he's my friend. Uh he makes nice oh, there's nice memes about this one. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> he comes back in Dark Souls 3 for some reason. I don't fucking know the lore of that game because I didn't really like it that much. Wow. That's a lie, I thought it was good, but well, the Dark Souls one, even oh. though it really wants to be. If we ever get to that game, you will see how how similar those games are. I, I've I've seen a lot of three. Oh, two, yeah. two is the one I've seen two the least of. Two is the of. black sheep. Because yeah. they were like, we're gonna do something different with two, and they did, and everybody hated it. Uh, and they were like, well, shit, look, guys, we're we're bringing it back to the original, haha. -ha. <laughs> Everything is like Dark Souls one. Remember this character, haha. -ha, reference to this guy. <laughs> You even go back to Anne Orlando, spoilers kind of, but that's that's like pretty, that's like the exact story of uh, the Star Wars, Star Wars movies. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it was we, episode seven all over again yeah, in have, video game form. You have the first trilogy. Everybody's <laughs> like, I like this, and they try something new with the second trilogy. Yeah, and then it fails horribly, and they're like, Well, uh, actually, look at this. Actually, it's more of what you like. <laughs> Don't get mad at us, please. Fucking yeah. Uh, every time somebody's like. Uh, I wish that insert artist here would make music like they used to. Yeah. I I think of Star Wars Episode Seven. What the fuck was that hitbox? Yeah, that was. Yeah, you got, that happens robbed. sometimes. That happens a lot in Dark Souls Two. That's another thing about Dark Souls Two that was shitty. Uh, technically speaking, it was broken as fuck. There were yeah. so many broken hitboxes. It was insane. It's like genuinely mm. hard to play that game. Anyway, this is a tight night demon. I don't know yeah. why I'm fu fucking with him right now. Uh, you're He's doing very fine. strong. Uh, I, I should not be fighting him right now. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> he's not. He's not that bad. I mean, if you don't get hit, you can just fight everything in the game. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it's very possible to do that. Speed runs at this game are really fun. I sped run this game for a little bit. Wow. I got my uh, my lowest time was like two hours, I think. Wow. It's pretty good. <laughs> 
buddy. I used to be good. What is he trying to attack? Yeah. Buddy. Yeah. It's confused. He doesn't know what to do with his hands. <laughs> what? Did, yeah, stop! <laughs> I, I feel I feel like he's BMing me now. <laughs> he's he's lost you on the map. I think he's uh, he he's confusing your coordinates. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna get hit by this. Oh, that's, all right. Nice. Yeah, this guy's not that tough, actually. I would say, of, of all the shit that I'm not supposed to be fighting, but am anyway, this is the easiest one. Mm -hmm. Have you have you played Final Fantasy XV? I don't remember. Yeah, I beat it. Oh, okay, yeah. That, that's what I thought. Yeah, this fucking... It was bad. I didn't like it. <laughs> I thought it was really bad. Really bad, yeah. huh? I, I know that you said that if it weren't for the second half of the game, it'd be, like, yeah. your favorite game, but yeah. I, I despise pretty much the whole journey. The the start of the game had it had a bunch of promise that it did not deliver on. That but. is true. I, I thought that the opening was okay at best, but then part two happened, and then we, <laughs> I ran around with a fucking ring for, like, three hours, and it <laughs> did not Resident hold Evil. my interest. Playing Resident it was Evil. So why did they do that? What the fuck were they thinking? Yeah, I don't know. It blows my mind. Hey, anyway, I beat that guy. Yeah. There, you see? I'm not shit at this game. I killed the, the Titanite demon. But the, the point I was trying to make is that uh, y you doing this shit reminds me of uh, playing as Noctis in that game. <laughs> where, yeah. Where uh, the point I'm trying to make to the viewer here is that... Uh, Hold no square. The Noctis in Final Fantasy 15 is the most overpowered player character that I've ever experienced he, in a video game. He really is. I mean, you can kill literally fucking anything yeah. if you just have the patience. Yeah. It's very goddamn boring. I, play, I played that game for like, I don't know, like 60 hours or something, and I did not die once. Yeah. And I also stumbled into like a level 55 dungeon when I was like level 34. <laughs> yeah, I did too. And uh, I... I my my AI fucking party members kept dying. I was like, oh, oh well, fuck it. Yeah, exactly. And I just sat there uh, just solo everything. Yeah, I just sat there doing really negligible damage because I was really under leveled for like two hours. But I eventually fucking cleared out the dungeon. That game sucks. <laughs> Why'd they do that? The the combat wasn't wasn't great. They went for an actiony feel. Which I don't is... like it. Give me turn base, please. Just give me Final Fantasy X and I'll buy it immediately. It's well, all I want. Well, Final Fantasy the from Final Fantasy like seven onwards, it wasn't really turn based. Uh, Tim was absolutely turn-based. What do you mean? Uh, they had, uh, fucking a ATB gauges that filled up, right? No. Oh, no, okay, that, yeah. That was, like, the most turn-based game. I, I know that because, uh, <laughs> Lord of the Rings, the third age of the game, ripped off of it, and that's, like, one of my favorite games. Okay. I want to play that on the channel, too, sometime. I really like it. It's just a really good turn-based RPG. Where are there? I I'm, I'm trying... It's been probably, oh. like, ten years since I played Final Fantasy X at this point. Yeah. Were, were there not ATB gauges in that game? No, it was all turn-based. Okay. You, you could go as slow as you wanted. There was, there okay. was no pressure to do anything. But and yeah. no fucking heal. You know what I'm talking about, though? Like, in Final Fantasy VII, they had that? Yeah, I didn't like that. Okay. I, I really didn't like Final Fantasy VII that much. It's a bad game. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a bad game. No, it's I'd bad. Say it's, I, I did not like the combat <laughs> as much as other Final Fantasies. Um, the most recent Final Fantasy that I beat, that I beat was uh, three. Yeah, I don't know why, but I just felt like playing through it. <laughs> I've been—it uh, was the remake of three, like with the, the updated graphics and stuff. I've had that game since the fucking DS era, and uh, I was never able to beat it. Huh. But then I did. I'm, I'm not—I'm uh, not some like old ass elitist. Uh, I, I've—I'm very advocate in saying or adamant for advocating yeah. that uh, fucking old games are generally are not good. Uh, <laughs> Like, I didn't say that. Like what? Like uh, Final Fantasy VI, for instance. Is that not a good game? Really good game, but I, I would have a very hard time recommending it to people. Really? Because I don't think they would enjoy it. If they if they did not grow up playing older games, I do not think that somebody could sit down in the year 2017 and enjoy Final Fantasy VI as well as they could a more recent game. I don't know. I I I, I would say that I like older games a lot. Hell, I I I've been playing through. Uh, Earthbound, and I like that game. No, Earthbound's a pretty good exception. Old Earth, shit. Yeah, Earthbound has aged really well. How? Yeah, Earthbound's from like what, like ninety four? I I couldn't tell you exactly. I, I think either. it's like ninety four. Something like that. Look, we're back in Firelink. But it's like, uh, it's like, would you recommend somebody go play, uh, go play Pokemon Red version or like fucking? <gasps> oh. oh. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Would you recommend that somebody go and play fucking Pokemon Red version as their first Pokemon game, or would you recommend them like Fire Red, like like, like or, for example, or I like mean, o Omega Ruby or something like that? Uh, I would say don't play Omega Ruby. I didn't like that game. Okay, well, I would say play Fire Red and Leaf Green and Emerald because those are good games. Yeah, but uh, no, I kind of know what you mean though. Yeah, like fucking Red, Red and Blue, they were kind of shitty. You had to go to the menu every single time you wanted to use an HM. Yeah. Fucking the the sprites were shit. Well, like, 
Yeah, I mean, if we're talking like that old, then maybe. But like most NES games have aged like fucking milk. <laughs> a lot of SNES games, however, have aged really well. Yeah, I think I think everything SNES era onward has has aged pretty well. Well, I mean, um, I mean there are exceptions, of course, but I think a lot of good games from that era are still good now, and I think a lot of people could still find enjoyment from them. I mean, hell, Crash Bandicoot, for example, that it's literally just the same game but with better graphics, yeah. arguably. My, um, my, my cut my cutoff is uh, for most games rather. It, oh this, shit. Oh, uh, what happened? Uh, skeletons are coming after me, and I don't want to fight them. Can Let me set the bonfire, please. Yeah, why can't you activate the bonfire? Because there's goons trying to attack me. Oh, okay. The game won't let me. Okay, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, the problem is I can't kill the skeletons right now. Oh, really? Yeah, I need a, a divine weapon or to kill the uh, the uh, necromancer who's summoning them. Okay. Also, maybe I can just like stun it and be done. <clears throat> uh, my cutoff point for for games though is usually from 2000 onwards. Yeah, but if it, it was made in in this millennia, typically I, I find a much easier time recommending it to people. Oh, we know those ones just do die. I'm dumb. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't know. I mean, there's still a lot of shit on like GameCube era that I really enjoy. Yeah, that's from I, I think GameCube 2000 like, onwards. Yeah, it was like 2000. Four like plus. I would, I would absolutely recommend somebody go play fucking uh, Wii. Super Mario Sunshine. However, yeah, exactly. I, I would not really recommend somebody go and play fucking Mario Two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. People like Mario Two. People like a lot of old games. Uh, who who are people though? I'm I'm saying like I don't know. I mean, it just your general rando who plays like fucking Battlefield and League of Legends all day. I don't know. I, I I'm talking no. I'm talking recommending it to somebody like. I'm fuck like you. You meet this fucking super bro normie or some shit for cool. whatever reason, or like you meet this cute girl. Yeah. And she's like, I want to get into video games, and then what do you recommend to them? Right. Uh, you don't recommend them fucking Mario well, Two. Well, I mean, yeah, but still. Right. <laughs> Just someone who has who has like no idea what a video game is then, or yeah, or like like real entry level shit. Oh, I don't know. Because people that know what video games are, they have. Typically... I'd show them Spyro. <laughs> they would love it. I'd love it if, if, when and if I have children, I, I'm going to force them to play all the games that I played in like, in like order of when they came out. So they'll, they'll start out with Spyro and they'll move up to like fucking SSX Tricky and shit. So, so they're just gonna speed underground. They're and just stuff gonna like that. relive your childhood. I had the best childhood. I know what's the best for my children, and they will enjoy it. Anyway, I have uh, a good weapon now, so thank fucking Christ I can kill things ooh, yeah, much easier. I, I really like the Halberd. Halberds are really good in this game. Yeah, I really range. hope I get the Black Knight Halberd. I'm gonna be tilted. Whew! This part's hard. Because there's a lot of yellow yellow ghouls, pink ghouls. Hello! Wow. Yeah, it's a whole ghoul fest. Uh, is, is the spooky library in this game or is that in 3? Yes, that's in here. Well, it's okay. in this one and 3 because I okay. wanted to be the same game. <laughs> uh, but this one's good. So, <laughs> I, I did not like that library in Dark Souls 3. Hmm. I only played through Dark Souls 3 once, though, so I don't know. I, I might enjoy it more if I go back to it. Just fucking just pushing but, all the bodies along. Oh, shit. Hello. hello. I, I really hope I get this guy's hat or trident, by the way. Because he's okay. Well, well. My man. Are you, ah! I'll Fuck. Say, are Fuck. You? This is bad, because I aggroed these guys now. <laughs> and they're buffed. Well. Well. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just doing my own thing. Picking your battles. Uh, I want to kill this guy first. It doesn't yeah. really matter, but... Whoa. Oh, I have this. Take this. Fireball. Oh, oh shit, there's more, shit. though! Why, have I, why am I doing this to myself? Yeah, maybe you need to not kite through new areas. <laughs> Alright, no, it's fine. We're gonna, like, one-shot these idiots. Uh, See? It's easy. Jesus Easiest fucking game Christ. ever played. Yeah, these guys are <laughs> shitty. I mean, they're buff, which makes them a little harder, yeah. but it's not that big of a deal. I can redeem myself. So many... Kind of. If I do guys. well here... Oh, shit! Why did I not uh, reinforce my Estus Flask while I was in Fire Link? Oops. That's my Yeah, bad. why didn't you do that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I goofed. Oh. Get out of here. Yeah, cool, quick, God. stop! The, the, Ragdoll, I need to move through your body. <laughs> the camera sometimes. Uh... Yeah, kind of. This game is a good camera for the most part. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Oh, boy. Now then, you first. Wow. Bah! That's cool. Spin to win. I really like this weapon. There's a lot of fun in animations. <laughs> wow. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, bud. Uh, what are you trying to do there? Kind of low health. Careful. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I have Estus. It's kind of. Right. 
I killed him. It's kind of uh, bizarre to me that uh, it's over here. There's Le one more night. That League of Legends is like entry level nowadays because that, that game's hard as fuck. Uh, I, I don't. Yeah. I don't care what people try to argue. It's like League of Legends isn't hard. It's not as hard as Dota 2. <laughs> Which I, well, I, mean, I, I actually can't say whether or not that's true. I, I, I've played Dota, but yeah, it's, is it harder? It's just different. I mean, what is hard at the end of the day? Yeah, it does. If, have, are we talking like APM? Because in which case, I would say Dota 2 has more. Right? It has more mechanically complex heroes. Yeah, like fucking. Uh, there, there's. A lot of multi-unit heroes, which there are none of in League, mm -hmm. with the exception of like controlling like fucking Tibbers and shit. Yeah. But uh, uh, coming from somebody who has been <laughs> coming, coming from somebody me who has been Diamond One uh, two separate seasons and uh, Diamond Five the rest, uh -huh. and uh, the seasons where I actually put my nose to the grindstone and play shit ton of League, I yeah. usually get to Diamond One, and by that I mean I'm two for two. Anyways, <laughs> point is. Uh, I have a qualified opinion. I think that game is difficult as fuck to learn. Yeah, I mean, I would certainly say so. If you've ever, tr ever tried to teach League of Legends to somebody, it is not easy. Any game with like 170 plus characters is, <laughs> is going to be kind of hard just by default, you know? It's like it's like 130-ish at this point, but yeah, oh, same, same I thought point. It was like, I thought it was like 150 at the lowest. No, know. They, they don't release characters nearly as often as they used to. Yeah, I remember they used to just crank that shit out. Every two weeks. That's weird. And Why? The, and the servers were down on the, on the patch day every single why, time. Why did they do that? Why did they put them out so frequently? Because they didn't have very many and people wanted... Well, now we have a shit ton, so stop. Well, yeah, they don't. Okay. Th that's exactly what they've done. <laughs> Should we end this episode? Okay, yeah, bye. Uh, oh!